So a viewer has asked about Prince, the singer Prince, and that's what the video will be about. So if you like the video, I hope you will like it. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with me. It was funny, the viewer had asked just a simple question to do a reading on Prince. And you know, quite a few of my readings are about royals. And so I thought, well, I, I typed back to the viewer, I said, which Prince, which one are you talking about? And then she uh, says the name, uh, his full name, his full legal name, which uh, you'll find out here and it's pretty interesting. So I hope you like the video, but first here's some information. So in 1958, Prince Rogers Nelson was born in Minneapolis, Minnesota on June 7th. So he uh, is a Gemini. His mother, Maddie Della, was a jazz singer, and his father, John Lewis Nelson, was a pianist, a pianist and songwriter whose best-known stage name uh, was, in fact, Prince Rogers, uh, which he used when performing with his wife in the Prince Rogers Trio. His uh, Prince's the artist, great aunt, uh, Mitty Maud Lena Gordon, uh, established the peace movement of Ethiopia in response to American white supremacy and a jazz drummer, uh, Louis Hayes, was uh, a cousin of his. Now in 1960, his younger half-sister was born, Prince's younger half-sister was born, who later had uh, interest in music encouraged by their father. And in 1965, seven-year-old Prince wrote his first song on his father's piano. Now in 1968, at 10 years old, his parents divorced and his mom remarried, had a son whom he didn't like, and so sometimes he lived with his father and then his mother and stepfather, who took uh, who, who uh, had them the other rest of the time even took him to see James Brown uh, in concert uh, in high school Prince played uh, football ba baseball and was on the varsity basketball team uh, he trained in classical ballet at the Minnesota Dance Theater through the urban arts program of uh, public of the public schools now in 1973 he met songwriter producer Jimmy Jam and impressed him with his talent and mastery of lots of instruments and uh, of course his worth ethic and then in 1987 Prince stopped eating red meat and required guests and staff at his home, Paisley Park is the name of his home, to maintain a vegetarian or a pescatarian fish uh, diet uh, on the premises. Paisley Park still requires individuals now uh, to leave if they would prefer to eat uh, meat. And in 1986 at the 28th Grammys, Prince was awarded the Presidential uh, uh, merit award. Now in 1990, Prince saved the Joffrey Ballet in, in Chicago and was also honored by the American Music Awards for achievement and merit. And he noticed a 16-year-old dancer, her name was uh, Mady Garcia, uh, outside his tour bus and said, that's my future wife. Uh, after she graduated high school, uh, Mady worked as a backup singer, dancer for him. And then in 1991, his father, uh, uh, Prince's father, said that he had named him Prince because he wanted his son to do everything he had wanted to do. But the boy didn't like the name and preferred uh, the name Skipper. Interesting, that's my, was my, is my brother's name. When, which, which that stuck with him through childhood. Uh, he had uh, epileptic, epileptic seizures when he was young and later his mom said one day he told her he wasn't going to be sick anymore because an angel uh, told him so. Uh, in 1996, he married that previously 16-year-old uh, singer-dancer, Mady Garcia, and on Valentine's Day, he was 37 and she was 22. And their infant son died at seven days old due to Pfeiffer syndrome. You can Google that. And Prince was an animal rights activist and followed a vegan diet part of his life, but later described himself as a vegetarian. In 1999, the liner notes for his album, uh, Rave Unto the Joy Fantastic, uh, featured a message about the cruelty involved in wool production. And in 2000, they divorced after four years, and uh, he adheres to a pescatarian uh, diet. Now, in 2001, he became a Jehovah's Witness, not considering it a conversion, but a realization. And occasionally, he knocked on people's doors uh, to discuss faith. And Prince anonymously, donated, uh, anonymously donated $12,000 to the Louisville uh, Free Public a library system to keep it from uh, closure. The same year, he anonymous, anonymously uh, paid off medical bills of drummer Clyde Stubblefield, who was undergoing cancer treatment. Um, and then finally, Prince married a Canadian businesswoman, but they divorced in 2006. Uh, Prince was romantically linked with Kim Bassinger, Madonna, Sheila Easton, and Carmen Electra, among other uh, 
names that you'd recognize. In 2004, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, 2006, the UK Music Hall of Fame. In 2013, he was honored with the Billboard uh, Icon Award. 2015, he started Yes We Code, okay, like the, the hackers, paying for the hackathons outright and performing musical acts uh, at those um, events. In 2016, Prince told an audience he was writing a memoir. Now, he died, but uh, won the Rhythm and Blues uh, Music Hall of Fame and was posthumously uh, honored with a Doctor of Human Letters by the University of Minnesota. And then 2019, the, his, the co-writer of that memoir, Dan Pipenbring, uh, continued Prince's memoir, and The Beautiful Ones, as it was named, was published. And uh, the 1984 film Purple Rain was added to the Library of Congress for pres preservation in the National Film Registry for being culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. Now in 2022 he was inducted into the Black and into the Black Music and Ent Entertainment Walk of Fame. He had won 7 Grammys, 7 Brit Awards, 6 American Music Awards and 4 MTV Video Music Awards, an Academy Award and a Golden Globe. Okay, our viewer our viewer Netta asks um, and the reason I just say Netta is cuz she has a difficult name as I do, which you'll never find out. Um, and um, so I'm not going to try to pronounce it. But Netta asks about the singer Prince uh, Rogers Nelson, which is Prince. And what's funny is that Netta had asked if I would do a reading on Prince. And, you know, I do a fair amount on the Royals, and I just wrote back, you know, which Prince or something like that, thinking, you know, what Prince did you mean? And, uh, and she writes back uh, Prince Rogers uh, Nelson. And again, I'm like going, who the heck is that? And I had to wiki that name, and then I found out that was, in fact, the uh, singer, Prince. So before we get too far, let's have a moment of meditation. Okay. So Prince, the singer. And then it wants to just do a general reading, I presume, on Prince, who's uh, been gone from us on this earthly plane for some time. Same age, we're born the same year. And uh, I think he might have been 57 or 58 when he uh, passed. And uh, some people presumed it was drugs, but it, it, it couldn't have been. It just didn't mesh with his uh, lifestyle. Could have been perhaps painkillers, I guess. So, Netta, thank you very much for asking the question. And I wish I was brave enough to try to pronounce your name. So, the singer Prince, whose name is Prince Rogers Nelson. Look in the cards. Tell us about Prince. Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Prince. Okay, let's see what we have here. They signify a card. Prince the singer. Okay, we come up with the Ace of Wands. And uh, the Ace of Wands, that wands are actions, plans, uh, forward uh, movement. This is the ace. So um, th this is representing Prince. He uh, is moving forward uh, in his, uh, I guess, his, uh, his spirit's plan. Uh, the uh, challenge to this uh, with this um, knave of uh, cups, so this um, page of cups. I couldn't get the, the name from it, and I probably could have found it here. You have Valet of Cups. Um, so the challenge to uh, his um, spiritual advancement, I think is what we're talking about here, uh, is um, this page of cups, just a messenger of the emotions of the compassion. Hmm, interesting. We'll have to put this together in a minute because I'm not sure quite, quite sure how this is um, knitting together. <clears throat> the base of this reading for Prince is this Queen of Cups. Okay, and this even, I mean, looks a little like him. Uh, in this kind of bluish, uh, purplish outfit. So the Queen of uh, Chalices, Queen of Emotion, Queen of Compassion is the base of this whole thing. Okay, uh, just a lot of emotion, a lot of compassion. And the past of this uh, reading is the Magician. And it's almost who he was. Um, the This is the person that the fool finds uh, first on their journey. And it gives, kind of gives them all the tricks of the trade that they're going to need to complete their journey. And, um, and that's what happened to Prince. I mean, he was born into exactly the right family to develop exactly who he was and for them to encourage him to do all exactly the things that he needed to do to uh, become who he was and to fulfill that uh, purpose uh, of his soul. And the sky of this reading is this um, Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles is kind of being left out in the cold. 
Pentacles are value, worth, and um, so in this case, I would say this is always seeking. This is outside the the church, you know, trying to get in, trying to be better, trying to earn uh, entry into that other place. Five of Pentacles is what's in the, in the sky. This uh, reading, um, the uh, likely outcome uh, for this uh, right here with the Six of Cups is um, uh, remembering. Um, the, the lessons of the past, really remembering how things were, keeping that bit with you as your uh, journey uh, goes on. And so for the last four cards, what about Prince? So it looks like he's just an evolving soul, just like all the rest of us, you know. And this time around, he hit a particular mortal high uh, that um, that was necessary. But all the tools were there for him. Uh, he was just born into the family that he needed to be born into, which some say is ultimately our uh, decision anyway. So the self of this question, what about Prince? Um, uh, with this high priestess number two on the fool's journey, she already uh, came into the magician over here to pick up all the tools. And the very self of this question is the high priestess having the spiritual, the knowledge, the intuitional, you know, the uh, everything you need uh, to move uh, your journey forward. It's um, from the environment of, well, this is the... Um, and certainly is the environment that he ended up is this is the devil. So this is being uh, caught up in lesser intention. So uh, having all of this uh, going for you spiritually, soulfully, uh, intellectually, it was uh, challenged by uh, the workings, the intentions of uh, lesser intention. And then the uh, hopes and the fears for all of that uh, with this five of cups is uh, understanding when you have to leave behind uh, what's uh, not of useful anymore and pick up what you've got left and keep on going. Take off that mask of surprise and then put on your mask of confidence uh, and uh, or your own very face of confidence and uh, and uh, move yourself forward in that journey. So fives are pivotal in this reading with the five of cups that we had um, somewhere right here. Five of coins. And then the um, likely outcome for the whole thing uh, with his two of pentacles, yeah, finding that balance. And he will, and his soul will find that balance and be back for the next part of that journey. So beautiful. So to start over uh, uh, Prince's journey, we start out with the Ace of Wands, a big plan uh, that he was came uh, to this, uh, this experience for. <coughs> Challenged by this knave of uh, cups, this uh, messenger of compassion. And underpinned by this Queen of Cups, which is just a, a queen fully in charge of all the emotion that's necessary. necessary. In the past, he came to it uh, as a magician with all the tools that he needed. And in the sky, with his Five of Pentacles, the journey was to find your way to, to your value. And then the likely outcome of the Six of uh, Cups is uh, keeping all those uh, memories from the past to build to your future. The um, self of the question with this High Priestess is, again, having all that knowledge with, uh, followed by that magician to do what you need to do this time around. and But it's challenged, of course, by the devil, you know, challenged by lesser intention, who isn't. And then the uh, hopes and the fears with this five of cups is understanding what you've still got left and, uh, and don't cry for what you uh, lost or used up. And the, the, the answer to the whole thing is finding that perfect uh, value balance. And uh, we're all on that same journey. So yeah, he's on his journey just like we are. And uh, he picked up some interesting um, experiences this time that maybe we will next time. Well, I hadn't. I don't think I've done a reading on someone who's passed, so uh, we'll see uh, what you think about this. And remember to ask me questions. I'm glad to, to answer them. Why not? That's why I'm here. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So these cards are terrific. This is the Klimt Tarot. And some of you may uh, recognize this kind of gold uh, foil, gold embossed uh, artwork that is um, that Gustav Klimt is famous for. These are by Los Scarabio, And uh, these cards are really amazing. They give you a perfect... Uh, example of some of his works that uh, really uh, made him uh, so famous. Um, the cards uh, are amazing. I'll show you in a second. The instruction booklet isn't really much. Um, it's just a, a, some good information about Klimt, really, several pages on him. And then uh, some typical descriptions for the cards and uh, with the verse meanings written in italics. And it's in several different languages. So that's useful to lots of folks, I suppose. The containers, nothing to speak of, except that it does have beautiful examples of his art all the way around. And the cards are typical cards. I mean, they're easy to use. They're a shape that you're, you're familiar with, and they're a card stock that works pretty well. But uh, the real uh, star of the show here uh, uh, are the cards themselves. And they do come with little um, uh, suggestions up here as to what the cards are in in four different languages. So like, these are ones. Uh, so you start to see them now, and you can see the gold foil 
in there and how beautifully uh, everything is depicted and they're just a real joy to use and they just uh, uh, reinforce uh, Klimt's uh, uh, use of nude figures, people in everyday uh, poses and everyday uh, shapes, so uh, which wasn't very typical at the time. You wouldn't often find uh, cards, or, or not cards, I'm sorry, but paintings that were so um, abrupt in showing how people actually look and women in uh, various uh, <laughs> positions of self-pleasure or with other women. So the cards are interesting, and they're and uh, if you go to Austria, you will just be inundated by uh, examples of Klimt's art there. So I love using these cards. We'll see how they work. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go. So stop on by. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.